Happy Birthday, Army! <laughs> Fellow Army, Happy Birthday! I thought I'd do another one of those box readings because you seem to like them! <laughs> and we have more than three boys. So I thought I'd throw another one out today to Army's, Army's birthday! Yay! <laughs> <laughs> I'm really happy guys I'm really really happy so tomorrow I open up my German channel please love it lots you know um, I will link the link here too when I post videos tomorrow um, the content is the same but the videos are different it's not the same videos with German language you know it's, um, it's different videos than you will see here but you know I shoot them for my German channel in German but um, the content is the same. I post about Twin Flames, BTS and yeah, self-growth, like everything you know from my content here. And uh, But I want to do it different a little bit than here. Here I post two videos per day and I want to leave it like that because I'm loving it, you know, I'm loving this stuff. <laughs> um, I want to try out how this this YouTube stuff functions, you know. I also want to see, um, is it better to post in German? You know what I mean? I'm in German, I'm stationed, like my channel is stationed in Germany. So I want to look if I do German videos, do they circle around more? Um, what happens? You know, this is also a very nice thing for me to look how this, yeah, this whole app works. <laughs> so I want to see that too, you know, guys. So I will post videos there like what people usually do on on youtube they usually post um three videos per week not more you know i post like two videos per day <laughs> on this channel here and i i want to leave it like this you know and on my german channel i will do it like all the usual youtubers do it you know and um yeah so if you are in my Ger one of my german moods i want that you go over there, subscribe, and um, yeah, I will try my best to talk in German. <laughs> you know that I'm not used to talking in my native language when I do readings. This is very funny, but the minute I sit on my table here and I do readings, the minute I start talking in English. I have no idea why this is. <laughs> I assume it's from my past life where I was a, a druid in Ireland, you know, I was a male person, a druid that helped other people. <laughs> I don't know what century. I, I assume it was like the last incarnation I did where I did readings, you know, and that's why I think it's coming back. So that's what I found out. But I don't know if it's the reason why I always speak in English, you know. <laughs> So I will try to do readings in German because I mean German is my native language. I don't understand why I can't do readings in German, but I will try my best over there. Okay, I'm learning too there. <laughs> so if I make a mistake, you must forgive me. <laughs> okay, guys, now I have talked enough. So I wish everyone a happy army day. I hope everyone um, feels happy, guys. Um, please remember, please be true to yourself. Always do the things that make you happy and always try to live your dreams. Always follow your dreams and don't, yeah, how do I say this? Be glad that you found the boys, you know, because with the boys we learn how to be ourselves, how to make our dreams come true. And don't ever let other people tell you what you should do, what you can't do, you know, because no one knows how much strength you have inside of yourself okay and that's why i also doing the channel to help you find your true self and to help you also spread love light and positivity the love for our boys and you guys go out into the world and you spread the love the love and the happiness yeah because we need more happiness on this planet this is very 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 important and um yeah with this sense i'm starting the reading now um, the funny thing, when I shuffled, I didn't ask the universe to put me exactly the four boys out that are left. The thing is, three of them came out as the three first ones that came out. So, 
you guys know I'm not cheating on my channel. I'm just doing what the universe tells me. And um, so those three are three other boys from our boys. <laughs> so choose your pile and then we will start the reading. Okay, guys? So see what the pile's timestamps are as always in the description box. Okay, guys, bye. Have a nice, happy army day, everyone. So guys, let's open the first box. Yay. Let's look who's inside. Ooh, Jungi with purple hair. Woo. So let's get a Jungi. You see this box? Yeah. What about this Jungi? Ooh. <laughs> I saw this picture and I thought this picture is nice for us today. So here we have our Jungi kit. You see it. Let's do it like this. Let's do it like this. <coughs> Look. My moon should not go blue. It should stay moon color. So where would we put this other Jungi here? <laughs> so many Jungis today. So let's see the message of this reading. Um, yeah, what is inside that treasure chest? We will look later. But I always look at this at the end. So Jungi, please give me the reading, like the, the message for the army that you want to have a reading for. What's the overall message? Wow. So we're having every journey starts with a single step. Is she naked? She is. <laughs> I just, I was just looking like, eh? <laughs> okay. So if she's naked, that means she's in her authentic truth. Let's put her here beside Jungi. Can you see this? Yes. So I want to look with my Le Lenormand cards again, you know, this is a different method of reading than tarot, you know, I can do all, I learned all reading, all special kinds of readings, Lenormand, Kipper, um, playing cards, tarot. <laughs> when I awakened three years ago, I was so interested in the universe, I learned all of them. <laughs> I thought, I want to know all the communication methods, you know? I want to know everything. <laughs> yeah, I'm lucky. I know I'm lucky. Okay, let's see, Jungi. Show me, why does every journey start with a single step? What do you want to say to Army? Give me nine cards. Give me nine cards, Jungi. How many do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Perfect. Ooh. So let's do this, Jungi. Every journey starts with a single step. This is so true, right? This is so true. So, Yungi, give me the middle, the first card, the topic. Yeah, it's about being in the public. So, let's see what that means. Hmm. Give me the three up. Oh, wow. <laughs> Yungi! Okay. <coughs> I have to look if we can see all the cards. I hope we can see all the cards. Oh yeah, that's fine. I think you're seeing all my all my beautiful self-made cards. I'm very proud of them. No one cares, but <laughs> I love them. So, there you go. I love this moon. This light is so bright. 
Okay. So let's see. So we, as we already said, this is being in the public eye. <coughs> Every journey starts with a single step. And of course we know, yeah, we know Jungi's um, first step of being in the public eye was with a single step, you know. <laughs> this is funny. It says the recognition starts in Twitter. So this is a message also for you, Army. Yeah, once you go on that journey, um, you, need, you need to do a Twitter account for whomever this is right now. You know, you guys, um, you joined Twitter some time ago. It could be about Jungi and your journey with him, you know, because he's saying the journey started when the recognition happened in Twitter in the past. This is um, the now mm -hmm. and you have, there is fear, fear um, to be shown in the public eye, fear to show yourself in the public. It could mean that you started your journey on Twitter, you made a Twitter account some time ago, maybe when you found the boys because you know everyone is on Twitter. Some someday we all find out that everyone is on Twitter. So you went there too, but you have you are afraid to show yourself in public. I don't know what that means because um, you're going on a or you are on a journey, and you already made the step of going on Twitter, being public. But you are afraid to show your authentic truth. Your your yeah. There is no real growth right now because, um, yeah, let's see what the future says. That's interesting. The future says it's, it's clever to be disciplined with money. Discipline yourself with money because you need to save something to be I think this has something to do with a gift you're having like, you know on my channel There are a lot of people that um, Want also to become singers dancers um, famous you guys want to become famous So there might be a Jungi biased army here or whoever chose that pile You don't have to be a Jungi biased army that wants to be in the public eye You guys really want it, but you are also afraid and in the future, you need to be careful with for what you buy because you need to discipline your money. That would be very clever. This is just um, this is just an advice from Jungi. Ha. Huh. Yeah, it also means um, because look at this. For me, it looks like you are afraid to show your naked truth, you know, because at the beginning I said, oh, she's naked, you know. Because I, I, th I thought she was, um, she had clothes on. I was really surprised when she was standing there naked. So um, this for me means that you are afraid because I have here in the, in the present that you are afraid to show your true colors. You are afraid in this journey to move on, you know, and, and to show yourself really on social media, especially because we have Twitter here. This is social media. So you already have your social media accounts, but the next step is to show yourself public in the public, you know, maybe um, do a dance and show it on social media or whatever your gift is, show it, you know, but you're afraid right now, you're afraid. It's very interesting that um, Because I, I was wondering why well, it could mean you, you should be careful with your money But it could also mean in the sense with this reading here. I mean we have this reading here um, That you're trying to hide Your real feelings you're trying to hide them and you're trying to play them differently. You know what I mean? It's like you have these deep those fears are sitting are sitting very deep 
and you're trying to hide them by being someone else not being your true authentic self you know you're trying to discipline your feelings you know you're not showing this it could also mean if you want to stand in the public eye you need to discipline that you need to like the fox also means lying sometimes so like in a sense of um try to <coughs> Try to work on those fears and try to discipline them, yeah? That's what I could see, like, um, but start with single steps. Don't go from one step to the next big one, because that's too much if you have fears, you know? <clears throat> yeah, be clever. Be clever and intelligent. Yeah, the dis I, I always look at the discipline here. It's very important to discipline yourself in order to, in the public eye. Also to discipline <coughs> your fears. When I look at this row here, it's like discipline, trying to discipline those fears that they don't come out too much because otherwise you, you are afraid to do the next step, okay? Do you understand what I'm getting? There is here a potential of getting recognized. We have here the recognition, the growth and the deepness, you know, the feelings that your, your feelings will get recognized once you discipline them. That means you can make it, but <coughs> you need to discipline your fears. You need to overcome them. Okay, that's what I've gotten from Jungi here. So let's see what he says. He says, no matter what happens, you always stand by me. Oh, and there are the boys. Cute, right? Stand by me. Wasn't that the song that Teangi played? Maybe you're also Teang biased. Army. <coughs> so, let's see. He says, I. So, the letter I. Sure. You can be sure of yourself, I see. I see. I think, you know. We have the L. In a heart shape so maybe those are your initials <coughs> we have the cocktail <laughs> this is <laughs> this is like if you stand in a public eye like drink a cocktail before <laughs> so you so you don't have this stage fright you know it's it feels like a little bit of stage fright and we have the anchor here and the sea the shell I think that's very very cute look at this that's very interesting. The shell has come out of your shell. That's very clear, you know. The shell has come out of that shell. Show yourself. Every journey starts with a single step. Don't hide your talents. That's what the shell means. And the anchor is um, that, you know, this gift can anchor you in life. You know, this can be your work. Whatever gift you're having, you can make it a pr profession. But you need to come out of your shell and maybe get a drink before you go on stage. <laughs> yeah, stand by me. Maybe you are a stand-up comedian. I don't know, but um, there's something with... And also the ace is a new beginning, you know? Maybe you sang that song. Maybe you're a singer and you sang this song. But I think you got it, right? <clears throat> What's the advice? Let's get an advice from Jungi just want to get some more cards let's get an advice if I feel that I want to get more cards it's like I feel that he wants to say something more don't be shy the empress is that's the, uh, like the empress is like look at this um, that's the birth that's exactly a creative birth birth yourselves <laughs> like birth your project do it you can do it you know the empress is, is all about growth you can make it that's the end thing yeah you can make it you can make it just try it beautiful right beautiful is there something else no okay so that was Jungi's treasure chest for army's birthday today okay guys bye guys hi everyone who chose the treasure chest number two let's see who it is Oh, with Jiminy. 
<clears throat> so let's see what picture I have of Germany. I think I found a really cute one. Yeah, I really love this one with all the rose, with all the roses. Can you see it? Yes. So let's go. So now you see it better. So Germany. Oh, what happens with my moon? <laughs> so Jiminy, what's the topic of today's reading? What's the topic you're having for my purple lights today for Army's birthday? All the women are naked today. <laughs> Follow your own rhythm. That's beautiful. Oh my gosh. What is this all about? Let's put this here. It's a beautiful picture. Follow your own rhythm. Um, Jiminy, give me nine. Give me nine. Um, yeah. Nine cards for this reading today. What does find your follow your rhythm all about? more there you go a lot of fears today okay guys so Jiminy what is the topic give me the main topic of this reading okay forgot <laughs> so let's see <clears throat> those three are the past I hope you can see the cards really good so there you go that's it follow your own rhythm let's see what Jiminy wants to tell us and wants to tell you you know so let's see okay there is a secret or mystery something you don't know the book is there's something hidden from you something is hidden so let's see what was going on in the past we have the change no change <laughs> <coughs> You had an inner struggle about change and that's why you didn't change. <laughs> that sounds funny. <laughs> well, if I see follow your own rhythm, um, you had fears in the past of doing that. Like you could not follow your own rhythm. You might still now still we will see what the present says, but um, there's something still hidden from you even now. And um, you couldn't really like you were stuck like this is the recent past like you were stuck because um, you had an inner struggle about how to change or you know what to do um, so you were like stuck because maybe you didn't know how to, what to do and Jiminy's advice is to follow your own rhythm you know maybe you don't know that there's something here that you don't know Something is hidden. So let's see what is in the present. There's something deep hidden. <laughs> yeah, this is like deep, deep, deep. Like there is something, this is very deep inside of yourself. I mean, the anchor goes deep into the water and here's Cookie swimming deep into the water. And this is the mystery. That means for me, being deep in the water means there is something hidden deep inside of you, like the answer on how to follow your own rhythm, I feel. Because in the past you are stuck or you were stuck. Maybe you're still stuck. Because there's something that has not come out yet. Out of your own self. That's very deep. <laughs> This reading is like, wow, come on, what is this chimney? 
there's something hidden deep inside of you that brings about the change but right now it didn't come out you also see how she's authentic like the the nakedness always means authentic authenticity and dancing to your own rhythm following your own rhythm so you might not do this yet and once you follow your own rhythm this will come out it's a gift a life gift yes wow guys this is a life gift that is my camera lens on can you guys see that i hope so it looks very blurry though oh yeah i think you can see it this is a gift guys there is some hidden gift inside of you that's very very deep hidden and it will come out if you follow your own rhythm if you do what not what others want you to do but if you do what you want to do the mystery is still up here in the present but it will come out this is a life gift a gift of life that will bring you a lot of sun and happiness and um a lot of sun like sun is like positive energy everything like your life will change completely when this comes out. And this is this has to do something with a job, a life job. But it's still hidden. It could be your soul task, guys. Because I told you, if you are a twin flame or if you have a, a counterpart and um, <clears throat> you guys will experience or will, you know, this deep hidden gift of yours, you might not even know this. This comes out by, by, by chance, like boom. But only if you follow your own rhythm, you know. And all of those who chose this Palgemini, you might have the soul gift. I mean, it's here. There's a gift deep hidden inside of your soul. Wow. This is deep. So let's see what Gemini is saying. You are so protective. This looks like handcuffs. <sighs> You're handcuffing your, <coughs> your secret. <laughs> yeah you're protecting yourself you're not free this is what i saw you're protecting something and as long as you protect yourself i also see that in her arms you're not dancing freely you're protecting it's like you you handcuff your secret like not a secret your your gift and the ten of wands is also an ending there has to come this has to come to an end it's like you need to discover this gift but before you must follow your own rhythm so let's see what it says we have and again an eye wow in Jungi's case we had an eye too i told you it's all it's it's um it could come out with the love i said if you have a divine counterpart so you might be a twin flame too that's what i said i saw here there is this soul gift and a lot of times this come out if you are a twin flame we have a three, we have a E, we have a B, an X, and an idea. See, that's the gift, an idea. We have the flower, the little blossoming flower, that's you. And we have something with clothing. So maybe the gift you're having has something to do with beauty or clothing. Neatness, you know, clothing hanger is... Um, it's kind of like an order like um cleaning up so this could mean like follow your own rhythm clean up all the energies from other people be your own self um shine your own life and don't handcuff your gifts because it will come out you know it will come out so let's see the advice from them i want to get another advice beautiful i really love this reading again today wow <coughs> all these readings are so cool jiminy give me a, um, an advice for this pile there you go yeah <coughs> you will be surprised what is inside of you you need to be patient though um this says um you need how do you say when you have a garden and you plant it you planted the seeds and one day all the fruits from the seeds you planted come until then you must be patient follow your own rhythm and you will see what will come out of the bushes <laughs> this will be crazy what is hidden in the bush <laughs> but this is what it says you know you planted the seeds there is something inside of you that wants to come out <laughs> but it's a good thing it's a very good thing 
Okay, so that's all what I'm having, guys, for Pile Jiminy. Bye, guys. Love you. Have a nice, happy army birthday. So, guys, last treasure chest. Let's see who it is today. Ooh. Hobie. Hobie. Let's see what picture I have. Oh, I have a good one. I have a good one from Hobie. Oh, look at this. Oh, my God. We need this Hobie today, right? <laughs> okay, this Hobie is doing our reading today. So, in the treasure chest, we look later, okay? So, this Hobie we really need today. Look at him. Wow. I just need to see the cloths and I'm like done. <laughs> wow. When I was at the concert in Paris and um, I was like five meters, seven meters away from the stage. Like when Hobie came out, I was stunned, guys. I was so stunned. He has such a stage presence. Like Hobie looks like, like if I wouldn't love Tiangi, like I love him with all my heart and my soul. Like Hobie would have like just be my bias. <laughs> No, no, it's changing the color. Stay white. But, you know, still Tiangi looks awesome, like, in real life, like, in reality. Like, I would have jumped on that stage if there wasn't, like, if I would have been allowed, you know. <laughs> but, you know. <laughs> okay, let's move with the reading. Hobie, what topic you want to have for the army on army's birthday? What you want wants you. That's good. <laughs> Whoa, your nose changing. Oh my gosh, what's happening here, Big T? <laughs> Big T is mad. <laughs> Sorry, Big T. I mean, you're still my number one. Don't worry. Like, he gets so, he gets so jealous when I say something about the other guys. <laughs> I love it when I look at this reading and then what you want wants you. <laughs> oh gosh. I love you, Big T. Don't worry. You know, I will always take you. Always. Just wanted to say that Hobie in real life is like, damn. <laughs> Okay, so what what you want wants you. That's a good one. That's a good one to put. Wow. This is beautiful. I love this. I love this. Oh my gosh. So let's see Hobie. Let's see Hobie. <coughs> Give me cards. Nine cards. What is this what you want wants you all about? <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Wow, eight, nine. We have exactly nine cards. That's good. Crazy. Wow. That's a good intuition right there. I didn't know how many we have. So Hobie, give me the main topic. <coughs> okay, there you go. That was fast. Um, okay, now the past. <coughs> and I don't choose them randomly, guys. Yeah, don't think I choose those cards randomly. I see like... <laughs> Like, I feel or see when I choose them which ones to take. Like, I know this one comes here. Don't ask me why I know, I just know. <laughs> this is the gift I'm having. I just know. This comes in the middle, and now I'm looking which one yet, yeah, this order. So, okay. And hope, whew, hopefully, this resonates with any one of you guys. So, let's put 
lift it like this so that Hobie, you can see Hobie's pick here. Okay, guys. So let's see what's going on in this reading. Oh gosh, we have the, the burden. Something is tough. What you want wants you. Something you don't get what you want. Something is very, um, it's a belief. It's about believing. It's about believing that what you want wants you too. Wow. Okay, let's see the past. Oh my God. This means a loyal heart. This is your energy. The woman is always the um, like the feminine energy, the female energy, not the female, the feminine energy. And in this case, it's the fewer, I think. So this is a loyal heart. So you are loyal to this person, very loyal to what you, to who you want. This is about love, guys. I mean, if we see the heart here, nothing to worry. This is about love. So you are very loyal to what you want. But you don't know that what you want wants you too. The present a journey. Yeah, that's a soul journey, guys. Oh my gosh, this person wants communication. Your ma this is from your masculine. Wow. So Hobie is basically saying this is a, a soul journey. You're very loyal to this person. And it's very hard because there is no communication. Yep, right now. There is no communication and that's a burden for you. But you're so loyal. This is a wow. <clears throat> okay, future. That's very interesting. There's a secret that comes out. Huh. The fox is interesting. Stealing. Um, in this case, it means stealing. So there is a tower that's hindering this communication. This tower will be stolen away. So if the tower, that's like the between yet the tower is the thing that um makes the communication impossible with your soulmate or your twin flame whoever this is you're very loyal to this person you have a deep soul bond but there is no communication because of the tower and this tower gets in the future this is the future pile this tower is gone this tower will be gone and the truth will come out guys and this is hidden from you, that this will be stolen away. You don't know this. Well, yet. Ah! well now we know. <laughs> That's crazy, right? Oh my gosh. What's happening with my camera here? Oh my gosh. This is one of the craziest reading. Wow. So it's like the universe of Hobi gives you a hint that in the future, this whatever makes the communication impossible will be gone. So the secret will come out. And then you realize what you what you want wants you too. <laughs> wow! I hope a lot of you guys on my channel chose pile 3 because Hobie is spoiling a secret here. Hobie is spoiling. Wow. This is crazy. <clears throat> And this burden will be gone, but you need to believe in it. This is a soul journey. This is the communication. This is not possible. The communication is hidden. Yeah, the communication is hidden for that other person too. And that other person cannot communicate with you and you cannot communicate with them. But both of you, we want each other. I am loving this. Let's see what Hobie else. Oh my gosh, you are the missing piece I've been trying to find. This shit is crazy. You guys saw this. I just I just put it out here. This is what I um, shuffled before. Who's on the path? Oh my gosh, and it's Hobie. <laughs> oh my god. What are the um, 
what are the things in the chest? We have an F. Oh my gosh, we have the Paris Tower. Oh my god, whoever was with me in Paris to the concert, this has a big meaning. The dragon, be strong. Hobi is saying be strong. We have a Y. Oh my gosh. We have a star. Oh my gosh. It's getting better every day. We have a D and we have the F twice. So maybe the F is important for you guys. Wow. This is crazy. Let's see what Hobie is saying. Oh! And my moon is making funny things. So Hobie, give me an advice. Give me an advice. Whoops. <laughs> What's this? Oh my gosh. Is this the same tarot? Yeah, this is the before tarot. Nine and ten of swords. This is in your mind. And and the um, nightmares you're having. You have fears that this person will never want you. You lie awake at night. And they do too. I mean, this is from both ends. And there are people in the back. They want to look at this. Wow. What is this meaning? Yeah, I mean, this means for me, stop, um, stop worrying. And this means that there are also people in the bushes that, um, yeah, try to get at you. But those are thoughts, you know, I see the, mm, those are also swords and this is an ending. So, <clears throat> and those are both black cards. Wow. What is this meaning? Hobie, I need, I need one more card, please. Can you sum this two cards up in one card? <laughs> you will, you will, um, what means when you go, this is the same card like in the other reading, um, in the second reading, um, you know, you put down the seeds and when it grows, you know, and you are patient and you wait, you can take your, your seed that is grown now and you can leave with it. That means everything what you put down in the earth will come back to you. That means if you are a loyal heart, um, you know, you need to stop worrying. That's what I'm th feeling. You need to end. You need to end these bad thoughts. That's what I thought. Because at the end, you will take your one. Because that one is wants you to. Stop worrying. Because if you're patient, you will leave with your... What do you say? Like when you when you are a farmer and you put down and at the end everything grows and then you, you know, you pick it and then you go, you leave. So everything what you, s what you put down in the earth and it grows, this love grows and you will walk away with it. You will get what you want because what you want wants you too. This is beautiful, guys. This is one of the most beautiful readings I've done on this channel. I'm always amazed on <laughs> how Hobi is spoiling it. <laughs> I don't know if you're supposed to do this. And you see here the woman, the hidden communication. That's hidden communication. That's communication also via, um, via the universe. Because the tower always for me also signifies the universe. This is the, it could be one of the barriers that the universe is holding this connection 
away from each other because right now you should guys should not meet and you guys should not communicate with each other because it's not divine timing yet so this is hidden communication with your person you communicate you see this shell here you communicate um like with a shell through listening and through words and through the mind and through hands and i don't know you communicate with each other even without a real 3d communication that's what it means for me because what you want wants you to no <laughs> this is so cool i'm loving this guys and i'm i'm giving this reading to you okay this was beautiful thank you hobie okay guys so that's it that's it that's it bye guys